Hello, my name is Vivek Narsimhan and I am a second year MBA student and Center for Digital Strategies MBA fellow at the Tuck School of Business in Dartmouth. I am pleased to welcome Dr. Martin Petri, CIO of Hilti Corporation, who is joining us today as part of the Center's Corporate Roundtable Anniversary as well as the Brit Technology Impact Series. Welcome to Tuck, Martin, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Vivek. So, Martin, uh, let's dive right into the questions. What is Hilti's vision with regard to cloud computing? The vision we developed over the last months is, is the vision of solid core and flexible boundary. Solid core, that is our backbone applications, like our ERP suite that we purchased from SAP and adapted to the Hilti needs. Mm -hmm. And it is also Microsoft Office. Okay. And the flexible boundary, we see an area where we can use today a lot of cloud solutions, but also own developed solutions that make the information that we actually provide from the solid core and in the solid core much more accessible for all our users. Okay. Cloud solutions will give us in the flexible boundary a lot of speed in implementation and agility to react to needs. Okay. What we will also see over time is changes between what is today's solid core versus tomorrow's solid core and we will most likely see more and more cloud solutions being in place, also for elements that today are part of the solid core. Hilti provides fastening technologies to the cons construction industry. How do you see cloud computing benefiting your industry in general and Hilti in particular? Mm. I mean, I think all industries will benefit from cloud computing in terms of fast implementation, mm -hmm. cost-effective implementation, and uh, the agility that comes actually with cloud solutions being more and more available. Okay. And that will be also true for Hilti. In addition, we will certainly also benefit from a higher degree of collaboration between companies here in the overall supply chain. Many consumers and enterprises see risks with cloud computing and perhaps only some of the potential benefits. So what would your elevator pitch be for the virtues of cloud for either consumers or enterprises? Mm. Okay, so first of all, the two big risks that are always named is security on the one hand side and reliability or availability of the IT services mm -hmm. provided by cloud on the other hand side. Okay. I think actually both are a little bit overdone here from people that want to stay in control because at the end of the day, cloud services will be provided by professional companies. And if you select the right partner, you will get at least as professionally managed IT services as we can do that today in-house. And the benefits I mentioned already, that is agility and fast cost-effective solutions that make our information assets that we have in the company even more accessible and uh, usable here throughout the company. So people say that moving to the cloud will enable the IT organization to shift focus from routine activities like server updates and maintenance to genuine innovation. What is, your, what is your take on that? How much do you agree or disagree with this? I can only partly agree with okay. that statement because at the end of the day, to create innovations and business value should have been our focus already for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And that we operate data centers is contributing hopefully to that being able to provide innovation and business value and should not be the focus or the, the end in itself. Okay. That therefore will not change with cloud computing. What will change is certainly the amount of effort we need to spend in order to provide infrastructure for the services. Apart from the challenges that you've already mentioned, do you see any other challenge uh, with regard to you know adopting cloud computing? I think the biggest challenge, at least in Europe right now, mm -hmm. is the legal framework we need to operate in. Because in many countries, the legal framework is completely outdated and therefore does not allow us to fully utilize the benefits. That's in particular true regarding information protection and data processing laws that we have in some European countries. We've talked about some of the trends around cloud. Are there others that you see emerging in this space? As I mentioned earlier, I can easily see that our today's definition of solid core and flexible boundary will change over time. And what is today a clearly solid core element 
might move into the flexible boundary and might be a cloud solution pretty soon. Okay. Martin, on behalf of the Center for Digital Strategies at TAC, I would like to thank you again for speaking with us today. We appreciate your thoughts and insights. This has been Vivek Narsiman for the Center for Digital Strategies at TAC School of Business.